what's up, Vega fam? How you guys doing? New to the channel. Basically, y'all can see me. You feel me? Get a little glimpse of what I'm doing. So basically, like I said, what's up, Vando fam? How you guys doing? I'm Lee Vando. Love everyone equally. Believe, achieve, never doubt others. You know, we're going to get into this video real quick. I try to do the one for my mini, my mini pro cam, but I can't seem to figure it out yet. But this video is basically to learn how to love yourself. Love yourself in the sense of, you see all my fat? Anyways, I'm going to get sidetracked here and there. But I want, I, want, I want you guys to understand that when you love yourself, you are in a better place. Okay? I've been single since about uh 2013 officially um and then in 2015 uh i ended up meeting somebody all the way to 2016 kind of sort of for like eight nine months we was together and i thought it was gonna be something you know she had me raising her daughter and stuff like that and you know some people know some people don't and it, it got to a point in time where I was just like, you know what, fuck it. I need to go back into my little nutshell and isolate myself from everybody. When I did that, you know, my ex ended up coming back into my life. And, you know, it kind of was like toxic. And, you know, you don't want that toxic, you feel me? And I had that toxic from 2013 after we broke up to about maybe like 2017. So about four or five years. Right? 2017. Yeah, around 2017. So, like, um, from the time I met her, from 2010 to 2017, we was, like, on and off. So, that was kind of, like, toxic. You know, she was, like, the love of my life, you would say. And I speak a, a lot about that relationship because that was my most, like, committed relationship. I can't say recent. But that was my most committed relationship in the sense that I was able to learn a lot from it you know since me and her broke up she hasn't been by herself she hasn't um been able to love herself maybe like two three months after after years we've been uh apart you know when me and her broke up uh i stood by myself legit for two years from august of 2013 all the way until basically august of 2015. um so i was i was uh I was by myself for two years and when I was by myself I realized a lot of things about me that changed you know she taught me to love myself she taught me in the sense of you know leaving me alone and leaving me for dirt you know there was times where you know I needed her and I thought that you know even though we was broken up that she would be there for me because you know at, at one point in time I was there for her even though we wasn't together and I realized, you know, even when somebody says that they love you and that they care about you, they don't do it. They, they really don't. Okay? Because it actually speaks louder than words. You know? And I tell people that. Your actions speak louder than your words. So somebody can sit here, you know, this is for all my single people. Somebody can sit here and tell you, oh, yeah, I'm single. I'm into you, this and this and that. But are their actions showing that they're into you? Are their actions showing that they want to be with you? You know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of females out there, you know, that I do talk to from time to time, whether we friends or not, you know, uh, via social media, via text message, via Facebook, it doesn't matter. You know, I reach out and I and I try to connect with them in a, in a way to see, like, it, are they right for me? You know, they're, they're, there's potential people there, and then there's just me. I'm right for me. The reason why I say I am right for me is because... I know for a fact I'm not gonna let myself down. I know for a fact that my actions speak louder than my words. I know for a fact that I love myself enough to put myself first. There's a lot of people out there that's like, yeah, I'll put you first, I'll do this, I'll do that. But their actions don't show otherwise. And then there's girls out there and females, you know, I can't just say girls because sometimes a female could be a girl and then a female could be a woman. You know, it's, 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 it's levels to this. But I want you single people out there, male or female, doesn't matter, to understand that us human beings need love and affection. And I don't mean that in the sense of just sex. Sex is not what you need in life. What you need in life is to self-love yourself. Like, literally self-love yourself. And when, when you do that, you, you end up seeing a different, a different part of the world. Excuse me. A different part of the world. And... 
Sometimes it's gonna hurt because then you gotta start removing people. You can remove friends that you know for the years. You can remove family members. It doesn't matter what it is. Sometimes you have to protect your peace with your peace. Okay? If that doesn't make sense, just keep following along and the video will make sense in the end. So, how I came up with love everyone equally, believe, achieve, and never doubt others was one day I was sitting down, you know, before it just used to be Lee Bando and I used to be like, you know, I get bands, da 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 this is, this is why my name ring bells and all of this. But in all reality, I sat down and I realized who I am. Okay, I am somebody that loves everyone equally. I love everybody equally until you fuck me over. Let's just make that clear. Until you fuck me over, I don't love you no more. The love is out the window. You can love something and hate something real quick in an instant, you know? But then, you know, the last the last name, because it's Lee Bando, love everyone equally. That's Lee. Bando stands for believe, achieve, and never doubt others. I don't doubt anybody. Why? Why, why you ask that? Because... The reason why I don't doubt anybody is because anybody can make anything possible. You see me? I'm I'm, I'm making things possible. And you can make the impossible possible. Because it means I'm possible. You get what I'm saying? So, when I say I believe and I want everybody to achieve and never doubt others, that's what I mean. I want everybody that I believe in to achieve. Reason being is because there's people out there that don't believe in you. So, you got to start to believe in yourself in order to love everyone equally, okay? So, it's like a whole, like, big circle with this, but it's also a, 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 math, a math problem to an, uh, an equation. That's what I, I was trying to get at. It's, it's, it's also an equation to this. But what I really want to get at is the fact that you people out there that are single, you're not alone, okay? Love everyone equally, but that doesn't mean you have to love yourself equally. You have to love yourself more than you love anybody before you love God, before you love your family, before you love anybody, you have to love yourself. And I say this in the sense of people with kids as well. If you don't love yourself, how are you going to take care of your kids? How are you going to take care of God? How are you, how are you going to accomplish the obstacles that God has given you if you can't take care of yourself? Everybody say, oh, put God first, put God first. I'm sorry, I love him. Praise the Lord, but I always put myself first, and recently I've been putting myself first, and, you know, because in the past I wasn't putting myself first, I was always putting somebody else's feelings first, and uh, so I was always basically putting everybody else first, and that that's what fucked me up, because then I was holding it in, and I, and I was doing a lot of angry stuff, and I'm learning to cope with it, I'm learning to do my daily affirmations, I'm, I'm learning to listen to positive, motivational speeches. I'm learning a lot of things about myself more than I did in the last five, six years. And with that being said, I want you guys to understand that once you love everyone equally and believe, achieve, and never doubt others, you will see the world in a better place. Not only because it's my name, duh, but because there's a reason for it all. When you love someone, it, is, it isn't just for a moment. It's for a lifetime. You can love someone for the rest of your life. You can love someone in that moment until the rest of your life you know once you love somebody you love somebody you can't you can't go from from uh love to dislike you know you're gonna always have that love maybe it'll be a distant love but it's always gonna be there just like food once you like something you start eating it you eat it you eat it and you start getting into it, you start loving it it starts becoming your favorite you get what i'm saying i think i'm gonna get money because my hand is itching i don't know anyways so with that being said i want everybody out there to make sure that they love themselves. If this video did not make any sense to you, I'm sorry. That means that you don't have enough time in your life to love yourself. Love yourself. Love who you are and who you will be becoming. You can be a better you tomorrow. You can be a better you today. You can be a better you yesterday. Okay? But yesterday's over. So why not start today? Start today and we'll see how the week, rest of the week goes. Remember, it's only Thursday. Throw back Thursday. You want to throw all of that shit back and start from the beginning. And remember to love yourself, okay? If you don't love yourself, you can't get up out of bed and you won't be able to do what you need to do with your daily tasks. My name is Bandit the Blog and I'm out. Peace.